What's up, boys? Okay, guys, guys, and everybody else. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Hasakage, your boy, Fuller, and we're back with another Vinland Saga reaction. We are on episode 12. Um, last episode, Thor... No, Escalade basically sent Thor Finn to collect or retrieve um, Prince Kinyut, uh from Tokyo. Uh, which he did, I guess, technically speaking, but... If we're being honest, Tokyo basically just let him go. He, cause he's interested in him, you know, cause he knows who his dad was. And we also found out that he also knows who, like, his mom is, right? Uh, so, I don't know what relationship there is there. And last time I was thinking that, you know, he was the dude who we saw at the beginning, like, in the first episode. I think, I think there was a dude that we saw who was this dude, uh, Tokyo. Uh, but I'm not sure. I haven't gone back to check it yet. So, yeah. Uh, basically speaking, that's it. Um, what's this dude's name? Ragnar, yes. This Ragnar dude is trash, honestly speaking. <laughs> he is trash. His men are trash. Like, he gives this dude such bad advice, like, honestly speaking. And, um, you know, he, like, this guy's got saved. And he came out and was like, um... Your men, no, you caused my men to die or something. I'm like, bro, your men were gonna die anyways, you know. And I don't know, I just don't like him. But anyway, so now, um, Canute and Ragnar are now with uh, Thor, with Thorfinn and uh, Escalades, man. So, yeah, anyways, let's just get into this. I hope you enjoy this reaction. If you do, please leave a like, sub to the channel, and leave a comment down below. Tell me what your thoughts were on this episode. And yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, so what, why is he... What country are you from? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have cash, bro, just pay me the booze. <laughs> That's too bad. That's too bad. Son of Lydia. That's a pretty cool ability though, to listen to the ground and, you know, know what's happening. Bruh, shut the fuck up. Mimi?ビオルン?その尊がり頭に息をさせるな。that is pretty that's a pretty cool ability bro you can even tell like um, the number estimate the number かなやしませんって。あ、ミスズディノ。援軍を要請しました。それまでは逃げ回りましょうや。あ、援軍。援軍だ。敵地の止まんのかだぞ。<笑><笑> What reinforcements is he talking about? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Bro. Is he having a change of heart? 
大物か小物か利口かバカかパッと面見ただけで分かっちまうのさ王子の面見てな分かっちまったんだよ He's a little bitch. 王者の面じゃねえってないや That dude's just not made for it, bro. He's just not. It's not even about him like, looking pretty and stuff, bro. He just is not meant for it, bro. He's not made for it. <laughs> bro, I bet they barely even slept. These people are gonna have enough of this. Soon. Assassins or something? The commander? The epicness, bro. <laughs> But he knows this dude's weak, bro. Come on, stay there. What 
逃避行に協力する理由は一つウェールズへの不可侵条約の締結だ全ては気候次第ゴジオ誓われよイングランドの王となった暁には決してウェールズには干渉せぬとうん、so that's the thing hey that's legit that I can I can rock with that but はいお任せくださいああ殿下は拷問しておられるそなたらが船三隻を提供するならば私は王子本人に聞いているのだ<笑><笑><笑>また後で聞こうそれまでに文章を用意しておく出発の準備を急がれよ、うん、なんじゃあの小牧師はこちらの足元にあってからに殿下と対等に口が聞けるとでも思うたのか田舎もめが、うんあのトルケルから王子を救ったんだぜ。The job's not done yet. もらいたいもんだ。かっちょいけとか。Man. いや、やっぱり多いよ。金に勝るものはないぜ。ちぇる。なんでも王の寝室には世界中からさらってきた美女の奴隷が100人もいるってよ。A hundred, bro? ワクワクすんな、もう。他には他には。おい、神父さんよ。あんた王宮にいたんだよな王の家にはどんなものがあったねいやまあこれといって価値にありそうなものは Bro, wait to kill their dreams <笑> God damn 女性の奴隷は結構いましたねいましたねってそんなあっさりあんた女に興味ないのかいやいや私の求めているものに比べれば金銀も美女もつまらないものだというかビア<笑>えー、ぜひ教えてくれ一体それは何なんだ<笑>愛です Love? 愛愛愛なんです聞いたことに俺知ってる<笑>ってキリスト教徒がよく言う呪文家なんかだよ It's like he's never heard of it <笑>何ポンドのものだ銀では測れません。銀に価値を与えるのに愛だからです。愛なくしては、金も銀も美女も全て。Maybe the translation is a bit off. 価値を与えるほんと、わけわかんねえな。銀は金の価値だろうがよ。顔難しいこと言いやるって。はっぱりこいでもよ。むしむし。坊さん、おい。Like he out here converting people? Bro! Uh, I don't know. Varela, Korea, Britannia, no Matsueda. Then the one you are Shadavans. Gratians, you mother, ten sets of Shinji, the way they are. Arturius, Koma, Nishino Kanata, and Avan Karamodore, Inishina, Britannia, Tako Nasaruto, you ten sets. Is that like the King Arthur storyline? What? Nazoka. Bukan, Mimi no Yoimo. Ambush. Yo, they're in a bad position. Oh, that's a bad position to be in. Damn. Well, no, okay, that transition kind of confused me for a minute though. Oh, like, what the hell? Oh! 
That's what's his face? Um. Oh. Uh, man, I forgot his name. The traveler. He's still looking for Thorfinn. Oh man. I feel for him. <laughs> oh shit, the horse! Yo! Your yeah, thought has got a tough job. Yo, Thorfinn has a tough job, fam. Not only does he have to protect himself, but now he also has to protect this... Uh, <laughs> this dude, bro. God damn. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I have no words for this dude. Like, honestly speaking, everybody who sees this dude is just like... Bro, this is your king, bro? This is the next king? Damn. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. But, you know, um, it's pretty cool to see that, you know... Uh, this dude at the end, I forgot his name, that's the thing. Um, what was the name? I could look for it, wait. Leif, Leif, yes, that's his name, it's been a minute. It's good to see him, honestly speaking. I actually completely forgot about him, I wasn't even thinking about him. But now that we see him like this, it's like, damn, bro, my G's lost hair, you know, it's bold now. It's been a minute, yeah. I, I actually kind of usually forget how long it's been. It's been a minute, fam. So it's good to see you, you know, that he's still alive, he's still looking. Uh, it's kind of sad to see him in that state, though. Like, you know, he saw somebody with like hair similar to Thorfinn's, and he thought it was him. And you know, the disappointment when he saw that it wasn't him, and it's just like, you know, ah, damn. I kind of wonder. I'm curious what he's been up to. You know, what has he been doing? Where has he been? What has he gone through? Um, I hope we get to follow the storyline just a little bit at least, like an episode would be good. Um, I did not catch the the scene with the king. I do not understand what that scene was about. Um, with the the his like, I guess that was like his personal guard, right? Kneeling in front of him and stuff like that. I don't know what they were doing. I don't know what that scene was supposed to signify. Ah, uh, Askeladd. Yeah, his. <laughs> Oh man, okay, this dude is smart. He he's smart. Uh he had already planned this out, like to get the to get the the help from this other uh this other group of people. Uh get I'm guessing that he already knew that you know they would probably catch up to him. Cause this dude's men are beasts. How did <laughs> Askeled's men were marching, yeah? Like a lot. Yeah, and yet this dude's men still managed to catch up to them so quickly. Right, and I'm guessing they were still good to go. Askeladd's men were done, bro. They were like, damn, <laughs> you okay, <can't> keep going. <laughs> yeah, you could see that it was taking a toll on them, but this dude's men seemed to be fine. I mean, we did see a lot of them, but they did not, we did not get to see like any of them like complaining and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm guessing that they're pretty fine at this point. I'm wondering why this, these other dudes like uh, betrayed them. I do not. I do not know what the reason could be for them betraying them. I thought this. Uh, what was the name? Um, Grati Gratianus, right? I thought he had already talked to them. They were like friends or something like that. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe they'll explain it. They'll explain it. Uh, but uh, other than that, you know, it was pretty good episode. Solid episode. Um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please leave a like, sub to the channel, and leave a comment down below telling me what your thoughts were on this episode. And yeah, later.